Audio Jungle. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to cartoon or how to paint anyhow you want it. I'm going to show you how to do that step by step in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here. Thanks so much for coming back again. So in this video, we're looking at how to get our picture done in Photoshop, whether you call it cartoon or uh, digital painting, any of them, but basically we're just going to get our picture cartooned in Photoshop. Well, I've set the basics or the backgrounds for this. And if you don't know how to do that, I will recommend that you go and look, you go and have a look at it tutorial that I did previously I'll link that up in the description and in the YouTube card over there so you can go and check that up before you come and start with this one I think that is going to be super helpful and this is the reference picture that we're going to use her name is Hamamat and she is one of the dopest people taking the African continent to a different level okay she's a Ghanaian and I'm going to use her she's a model and I'm going to use her picture for this okay so we're going basically African today right so I've got the basics done so without any further ado let's get started okay so this is my main let me rename this one to main now the colors that you are seeing over here are basically colors that I sampled from the main picture or the reference picture so I'm going to use that to reference and then to paint my pictures at a point in time i'm going to select one of them so if you see me pick my eyedropper tool and go over here that means that i'm going to sample a color and then use it to paint on this one so the main here is what i'm going to make use of in this tutorial okay so let's get started this is my main body okay this is my main body that is it and then this is the other one so this one here also is my shadow that is the one i'm going to do the shadow on okay and i've explained in other videos how to pick your skin tone shadows so you can check that one also in the youtube card over there okay so basically if you look at the reference picture we have the mat the nose eyes and then the eyebrow whoa yes that is the eyebrow okay so we're going to first of all get done with the mouth and then we go to the nose and a couple of stuff like that i don't want to keep this one like a one hour video because i know you're not going to sit here and watch an hour video so i'm going to fast forward the point where i think it will be suitable for me to fast forward okay so what we do is uh, we go and pick our pen to now the paint we have two types you have the shapes and the path okay so i'm going to pick the shape because i want to get a shape okay so i'll zoom in wait i'll zoom in over here to make sure that i have don't don't bother about the picture the original picture i was just playing around so i have my pen tool over here and then i left click and start from here so he basically creates a shape for me if this this is how it is going to look like okay so it creates a shape for me so i start from here and then i'm just going to trace over my image okay so i get to this point and then i come over here you use ctrl alt or z when you get it wrong okay so that is it and then you get to this point I want to actually create two things or a separate things like two of the math okay so when I get to this point I'm coming like this and then when I get here I'll draw up to this point so it's more or less like going around with where you have a picture um, the edges all right so this is the first one okay so when I'm done I'll also start from here and then get the lower parts done okay so after getting the mouth like this i'm going to change or oh, basically i think that is the main color that i'm using all right so that is it 
that is the one i'm using for the math so i pick this one for the math and that is it for the math so i can group these two and then i rename it to map because we are going to get tons of uh, layers and then you have to get each one of them renamed so that you're going to get to see it well so i'm renaming this to math and that's it so next we're going to draw um some small shapes for the nose so we open it up like this and then i create a new layer over here and that one you can use either the shape of the path okay but let's try to use the shape or the path over here because of the new layer so i'm going to zoom in and then try to draw the mouth like that sorry the nose okay so i go like this i'm just getting this one inside a nose like that so you just have to draw according to how it is structured okay so over here don't worry about the rest when we get to painting the shadows we're going to work on the rest okay so i right click and go to fill sub path and then i'm going to choose a color and i think this color will be fine for me so i click ok and that is it i delete the path and that is what we have in over now okay so i think the other one did not draw so let's quickly go back and add that one so go over here like that and that is it so you right click and go to fill path so we're using the same color and then ok and you click ok so you delete the path and that is it you have the notes basically like the shape of the notes set out okay so when we are doing the painting we are going to do the the main focus of this video is about the painting but i'm quickly showing it because i have some requests on how to do the eyes and nose and mouth that is why i started from here but the main focus of this video is on the painting okay okay so now we head over to the map so let me rename this one also to nose and then the next layer will be for the eyes okay so i'm zooming in critically very well and then i'm going to first of all draw the eye cover i call it eye cover because it makes sense for me okay so i'll start from here and then i go according to how the eye cover that is the black thing over there how it is structured so when i get here i will turn around like that over here like that okay so when i get here i'm not going to end it i'm not going to end the line i'll then get back like this according to how it has been structured and then i go the same way like this okay so when you get here you take your time and then you turn around and then you hold alt if you want to cut a point off so that that is it you hold alt when you want to get cut a point off so when you get to the initial point where you started that is where you break it up like that okay okay so we turn off to the the other side over here and then we do the same thing so i'm fast forwarding this area and catch you when i'm done okay so after we've gotten this like that we can then turn off the main or we can then turn off the reference picture or basically we can just right click go to fill path and then we select a color for this since the two are almost the same so we can select a color from here and then okay now one thing that i didn't explain the feather radius over here makes the color not too solid it makes it a bit soft just like i have the eyebrow over here it makes it soft it doesn't make it look too solid just like like a normal color painting right so you you just have to either increase the radius to two or one you just have to use either of them and then i click ok so when i turn off the main or the reference picture this is what i have 
so you right click and then you delete the path okay so just like i was explaining you see it looks blurry it doesn't make it too um i mean too hard for you to think that it was just a shape so this looks more or less like a a, a painted thing right okay so we have a white background beneath the eye cover so i'm going to rename this to eye cover let me rename it well so eye cover over here and then beneath it right beneath it you have to take notice of how you arrange your layers so right beneath it we have a shape or a white layer so i'm going to rename this one also white layer i created a shape under it and i named it white layer so what i will do at a white layer is that i'm going to pick the paint tool again start over from here i just go right under it just note that because it is under the eye cover everything you draw under it is basically going to be under it so you don't have to get it just exactly because it is going to be under it and then when i'm done i'm going to do the same thing for here and then at this point i right click and then go to fill path and then i select a color i'm going to use the white color for this and then i click ok so it just fills the path for me and i, I delete my path so this is what i'm having right now i think we are building up something interesting over here okay so the next thing is the eyeballs okay so we're going to draw the eyeballs basically you zoom in very well because so the eyeballs over here if you look at it critically it is in between the white layer and that of the eye cover so this is the white layer this is the eye cover so the eyeball has to be in between the two so we, we are currently on the white layer so any shape or any layer we create next will be right on top of the white layer okay so i'm going to pick my ellipse i get this wrong always so i'm going to pick my ellipse tool over here and then i'm going to draw the exactly like the shape over there right and then i get over here and then i'm going to press ctrl t right click and go to warp and then i'm going to drag it to make it feel exactly like how the eye over there looks like okay so you can draw it like this and then you make sure that you have this under that of the eye cover because it shouldn't go above that one so you try to do something like this take your time to just reshape it over there like that and then you take down when you are done okay so when i turn this off you see what i'm having so i can push it up a little bit and then try to resize it so let me warp it a little more down like that so that is what i'm having like here and then i'll zoom into this portion or this part also and then i'm going to do the same thing for this eye so let me fast forward and see you soon and that's it that is what i'm having so we basically done with the mouth the notes and then the eyes over here so let's do the next one that is the eyebrow okay so the eyebrow basically like there are a couple of ways to do this you can go the painting way but i don't want to go that way <laughs> let's make it a little bit simple for us so i'm going to go the simple way for all of us i'm going to pick my pen tool go with my shape and then i start from here i'm basically going to draw according to how the eyebrow looks like so let's draw it this way and then we come to this point when we get here we're just going to turn our hands and then get back to our original position okay so basically what i do is i sample the color from here but since we are going with black let me try and use black and see how this one is going to look like okay i think it looks deep what do you think let me know in the comment section what you think of the eyebrow if it is too deep tell me in the comment section okay so i'm going to do the same thing for this side also let me twerk it small and then i go around like that so this is more or less like tracing over the image that has been given 
okay so even if you are a beginner you can do this if you can't do it still hit me up in any of my social media let's get the conversation going on okay so that is it we have this one also done like that now that we have the basics of this setup when i'm cartooning i call something the after effect okay so we are going to do the painting of this which is the main focus of this video and then when we are done with everything we're going to add this the effects like this one the white thing over here and then that's tiny things under the eyes we're going to add all of that to it and i call it the after effect and i think that is going to come in the part two or part three of this video so if you are watching the first one you might want to go and check the other videos okay so to the main reason for this video we're going to do the actual painting now let's go back or let me take you back to to my skin shadows over here that is where i'm going to do all the painting from for the body okay so if you can see it clearly i have it on top of these two let me merge these two let me quickly go and turn this off and then let me merge these two so that it can be one body okay so one body over here and then i have the skin shadows over here so i'm going to paint all the shadows on this one 